The fourth on Flagler celebration is one of the biggest annual attractions. And once again, this year, this Independence Day, they lit up the night skies with fun and fireworks. News Channel 5's Rochelle Ritchie is in the heart of it all. She joins us live from West Palm Beach. Rochelle? Good evening, Shannon and Michael. I got to tell you, sometimes working on holidays doesn't seem like a lot of fun, but today for me, it definitely was as I was down here uh, on Flagler for the 4th of July celebrations. And I got to tell you, the fireworks show was uh, quite uh, a show for a lot of people that were out here. Fourth on Flagler is the site of the biggest 4th of July celebration in the county. And this year, it was all about the American West, with cowboy hats and mini rodeo for the kids and great music for the adults. Howdy. I think the funnest part about this is getting to listen to the music and dance. But it's great. The city set up today's event to portray the Wild Wild West. Wells Fargo is sponsoring us and they're one of our major sponsors, so we thought it would be fun to carry that theme through. From the top of the Esplanade Grande building, West Palm Beach firefighters unfurled a five-story American flag as the crowd sang the Star Spangled Banner. For the we won. Just before the fireworks, Mayor Jerry Moyo took time to reflect on the reason for our independence, honoring the men and women who made our freedoms possible. I want to say particular thanks to these brave men and women. Today, many had hoped for clear, sunny skies with no rain, and Mother Nature decided to take a break and hold off even just for a day. It looked like it was going to be for a minute, but then it turned out to be a pretty nice day. And it was a very nice day, and it's turned out to be an even more beautiful night, so that's why we still have a few people that are uh, walking along here, along the waterfront, as some of the businesses start to clean up. Live at the waterfront, Rochelle Ritchie, WPTV, News Channel 5. And